Hello everyone, it's Emma and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. Today I'm taking you around the house as I do some eco-friendly cleaning. First things first, I gotta tidy up. I gotta empty the dishwasher, I've gotta deal with that, and I have to put all my sourdough stuff away. Um, that purple bag down there is stuff from the RV. It's, it's our cleaning supplies that I wanted to use today for the video, as well as it's a bunch of stuff that I want to wash in the dishwasher. We don't have a dishwasher in the RV. It is a trailer. And I wanna give it a good wash while we're still in a house before we move back into the RV. Honestly, by the time you're seeing this video, we'll probably be back in the RV. So that's crazy. Anyway. Now let's do a cleaner lineup. Let me show you what I'm going to be using today and just what I use in general whenever I clean. First up, we have this homemade citrus vinegar cleaner. I will leave the recipe video right here. It's literally just citrus soaked in vinegar and then it's one part vinegar, citrus vinegar, one part water. Put it in a reusable spray bottle or a reused spray bottle even better and then spray it on basically any surface. We also have a few products from Clean Cult. This one, particularly when we live in the RV, it's a liquid dish soap and a refill that you put in their pump. And um, we also just installed a new sink in our RV that has a pumpable soap dispenser in it. So I'm probably just going to fill that dispenser with the clean cult in the future. I'm not the biggest fan of Tetra Pak because it's usually not recyclable where I live. We tend to live in very rural parts of the country. For the most part, Tetra Pak is an okay material and you can learn more about it in this video. And then because that's dish soap, we haven't been using it a ton here because we are just using the dishwasher while we're in a house. But we also have clean cult hand soap as well, which we really like. Next up, we have several products products from Grove. We have their multi-purpose cleaner, their glass cleaner, and their tub and tile. I particularly like that they have an eco-friendly glass cleaner. How these ones from Grove work, they come in little tiny glass jars. That's the concentrate. You put the concentrate in the bottle and then you fill it the rest of the way up with water at home. So this way it's reducing overall packaging these big plastic bottles, the pumps that are typically not recyclable. And then it's also reducing shipping emissions by not having to ship heavy water intense products. And then it's just those little tiny bottles that will get recycled. They are fully glass. Um, they also sell so many other different types of cleaners and we've been really liking them, particularly their glass and their tub and tile, just to really get at the grime in the bathroom as well as make sure that the glass isn't streaky. The multi is probably unnecessary since we do have the citrus vinegar cleaner, but overall really like their products and I like that they have these silicone pieces on the bottom to prevent any breaking. Oh, and they're also color coded. Now, those are the only products that I really use. As you can see, you don't need a lot. You really just need a good multi-purpose cleaner and maybe a few specialty cleaners here and there, but you don't need a kitchen cleaner, a tile cleaner, a grout cleaner, a bathtub cleaner, a bath, bathroom counter cleaner, an oven cleaner, a microwave cleaner. You get the idea. You just need one really good multi-purpose cleaner. Some other things that I'll probably be using today as well is baking soda and vinegar, particularly to scrub out the drains, maybe to scrub off the top of the stove, really like caked on stuff. Lemon and salt are also really great as an, an abrasive combination and also food safe if you want to clean off like your cutting boards and your oven and stuff like that. Citrus is naturally um, disinfectant so that's a great cleaner as well. So now here's the stuff that I actually use to clean. First is just any old rags that I have lying around. I'll use probably one per surface until it looks dirty and then I'll chuck it in a laundry basket and then these are fully reusable for the end of time. These are my dad's and these look dingy and old. He's probably had these longer than I've been alive. Like, look at, look at this one, absolutely falling apart. This is what I mean, rags last forever. Even if they have holes, even if they're fraying, you can still use them, particularly cleaning rags. Nobody's gonna see them except for you when you're cleaning. They don't have to be pretty. If you want something that's disposable, you can use Swedish dishcloths or um, compostable sponges. They're basically the same material. These, I love these. I only have one left. You run it under the faucet and it, then it puffs up into a regular sponge. I particularly like to use these for cleaning out the sink and then just doing dishes as well. And then the Swedish dish cloths as well. These are great for wiping down counters and even doing dishes. And they are reusable for quite a bit of time, these sponges as well for several weeks even. And then at the end of their life, they can both be composted. So they are disposable if you like that, but they are more eco-friendly in that way. Now, if you want something truly disposable, you're gonna use it once and throw it away. Paper towels are probably what you're thinking of. And if you're a big fan of paper towels, I understand that that's some people's preference. I highly encourage you to check out bamboo or recycled paper towels. I have some from Repurpose as well as some from Who Gives a Crap. I've loved all the ones that I've tried. They work just as good as any paper towels that I've used in the past. So they have a lower resource footprint and lower emissions, so I like that. And then because they are, I believe they're also unbleached and natural, you can compost these too safely. I like to use paper towels particularly for pet messes. I don't really wanna use rags for those that I'm gonna use again like on my surfaces, just for sanitary reasons. Uh, also just it's easier if it's a big mess. For the most part, I don't use paper towels. When it comes to brushes, use what you already have. We've had this one for years. It's plastic, yes, but it's still in great condition and we're gonna use it. I really like that it has a handle. It's easier for me with someone who has hand joint pain to hold onto this as opposed to something like this. It's a little more difficult for me to hold on to. but this one is fully wood and fully natural fibers on the front. I believe this is from Zero Waste Store. We do have both of these. They're quite the same. 
But honestly, use what you have. Using what you already have is the cheapest option as well as the most eco-friendly option. Even though this is made out of wood and fiber and stuff, it still takes resources to create something eco-friendly. It still takes resources to ship it to you. So use what you have first until it's no longer good and then switch out for a more eco-friendly one. And then lastly, when it comes to cleaning, you're probably gonna find stuff that you need to throw away and or recycle. And that brings us to trash bags. Traditional trash bags are made from virgin plastic, which is made from petroleum, AKA oil. It is extracted, it is pollutive to create, and of course it will break down into microplastics and it'll never really fully break down in the landfill. So even though they're still gonna end up in the landfill, I like to opt for some more eco-friendly options when possible, such as this one from Grove. These are made from recycled plastic. I love supporting the recycled plastic industry. Plus these are just as durable and tough as your regular plastic ones. These are bioplastic bags. There's a hole right here, just from sitting in our cabinet. Like we have, this is an unused bag and it already has a hole in it. So these ones are not very durable. So if you don't have like heavy trash like us, we really just throw away some food packaging here and there. This is probably a good option for you. Um, and one of the least pollutive to create because it's made out of plants. And lastly, you probably saw me spill them all over the place. That is these Blue Land dishwasher tabs. I did get these just while we're living here because we have a dishwasher and I wanted, I've always wanted to try these. They are truly plastic free. They don't even contain PVA in the form of a pod. Here's what they look like. And then they also come in a paper package and then you can store them in these metal tins. I think the lid threw me off. I thought it was gonna be more secure. But I do like these if you use a dishwasher. And actually using a dishwasher is better for the planet. It does typically use less water and resources than you washing by hand, unless you are very, very mindful about using as little water as possible by washing by hand. The dishwasher is the best option. Just make sure that your load is full. And then I'm sure at the end of the video, I'm going to create enough laundry that we'll have to do a load of laundry. Right now I'm using a bunch of different brands. I'm testing out some brands for a laundry review part four. You can check out all of my laundry review videos above and below. I guess let's just get to cleaning. Also just use regular rags like this to dust like so nothing special I guess you could use a little bit of water if you wanted to but you don't need any cleaner just to dust all for the cleaning routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any products that you want me to test out or even recommended for me, let me know what I should try next. The, I've never tried Blue Land's actual like refills, so that's something that's on my radar. But yeah, that's about it. Check out the rest of my laundry reviews down below. Stay tuned for review number four coming soon. I know I keep saying that, and honestly, I just need to do it. I already have my thoughts, I think. Maybe I need to test them out a little bit more, but anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any more suggestions for vlogs, let me know as well. But that's all that I have for today. Remember that your small actions make a big difference in the long run, and I'll see you in the the next video. Bye guys. I did that backwards. Oh well. Um, but for the most part, touch a part, touch a pack. <laughs> so short. <laughs> That's how Dan sees me. Lemon and salt are also really great adhesives. Adhesives? Nope. Abrasive. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, 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 um.